Hi, this is Claire and I'm going to show you how to make another hook which is suitable for maybe a chain or cord pendant um, and I've made one already uh, so here it is so it features a spiral design and it's one of the ones from the PowerPoint so the hook actually fits in like so and slides up so it's got two parts so I've decided to use nickel silver wire here which is 1.2 millimeters and that's some of it there and I've experimented with 11 centimeters for the first part and I used 12 centimeters for the second part of the hook so I've pre-cut these and the first thing to do is to just take the rough ends off all of these on a piece of emery paper so we'll just give those a little rub hope that's not a noise that's annoying for you so you can spend a little bit of time getting those so there's no sharp parts it looks like this one is a little bit sharp still just going around all the edges that's better okay so we'll start off with the top part and I've made some notes here firstly I've drawn the shape I want to make and used some annotations I've written the type of material that I'm using and I've drawn a front picture of it with it's folded over and a side picture just in orthographic projection there so it says make spiral first so the pliers I'm using are the round nose pliers and the needle nose pliers okay so starting off with my round nose pliers and I'm going to pinch a small inside loop so as tight as I can and with the small part of the pliers pinching that it is quite hard it does want to rotate a little bit so just pinching that down being careful not to bruise the metal too much and you can then just give it an extra pinch with the thick part of the needle nose pliers just getting that pinched a bit now when you start the spiral you'll have to use the uh, half round these um, I don't know the full round nose pliers just inside the loop to just draw that make the first loop so try to keep the loops all close so you'd have to use some pressure on the wire and don't rush the process try to keep it even and try to keep it in one plane okay so once I've started that I move over to the needle nose pliers and I pinch it across like so so you pinch it right across and hold it firmly and then gradually use your hand to feed that around the last part of the spiral so keep moving the pliers and keeping the spiral the next spiral touching the previous one so how far should I spiral aha well I haven't measured that but maybe that would be part of my next part of my planning so I made sure I left enough for the hook well I would say maybe halfway okay so let's see how far I've actually left for my hook on this one because it was 12 I've left four centimeters for my oh no it was 11 so I've left four centimeters for my my hook part so that would be seven centimeters of spiral so I could write that down seven centimeters spiral four centimeters hook so as you build up your skills you record a little bit more about it so now if I look at my picture here sticking to the same design which didn't work out too badly I could make my hook this way 
or I could make my hook that way. Well, this time, last time I did it this way, so I'll do it the same. I'm going to create an S shape, and on the other side, I'm going to create the loop, which would be the way I would attach my hook to my cord. So just having a look at this end, I'm going to start. Now this time, because I'm actually making a loop, not a tight pinch, I'm going to use the medium, perhaps in the middle of my round nose pliers. So I'm making the loop here. And again, when you make a loop, it's kind of nice just to give it a little straighten just where it joins. I straightened at the wrong spot there. So you want the loop to its moment it's on an angle. So I need to straighten that up. And now I want to make it look a little bit, a little bit straight at the moment. So I want to curve that a bit more. So I'm just going to curve it with my round nose pliers, just curving it back gently like a swan's neck. Like it looks like an S and maybe just curve that a bit more gracefully. So probably a larger set of round nose pliers would be good for that. Now for my last part, I'm going to actually form the hook. So I bent the hook along this shaft part here. So hanging on to the piece I've just made, I'm just going to bend it over, looks a bit dramatic. And that's how I make my hook. And that's how I made that hook. Okay, so you can see the hook shape. Oh, it's not so good. You might be able to just see that hook on the side there. Okay, so that's how the hook part works. Now on to the next piece, which is, I'm going to try 13 centimetres this time because it was a, I think it was a bit small. Never mind, we'll try again. We're going to start, now that we're getting a bit expert with this, we're going to start with the spiral. So again, the first one is a very tight pinch using the small part of the round nose pliers. Pinch that firmly so it's nice and tight. I, I must say, sometimes I find when you want to pinch things, pliers with a bit of um, a grip in the side, inside work a bit better, which I haven't got here. So when you start your first spiral, starting by putting the round nose pliers inside that loop and just feed your first, your first spiral needs to be done with the round nose pliers in the center until you get a little bit something for the other pliers to hold on to. So once you've got that, you can put it inside the needle nose pliers across and gradually feed your spiral around. This is actually quite enjoyable and it's not hard if you use this method. You can see I'm just gradually feeding it around and you could kind of really enjoy making spirals, I could imagine, for a very long time they are very very satisfying there's my beautiful spiral and see how even it is because of that technique right so now I'm going to make my hook I didn't really leave the last much room for my hook last time and it looks like I've got a bit obsessed this time too now this is this piece here if you look at my original here needs to be at that side and the hook forms a big loop and it's supposed to drop below because this is actually the safety catch part of the hook and the, the joiner is meant to drop below. So I've got to leave a fair bit of room. So I'm just using my hands to shape that over so that it does drop below. That's a little bit more successful. So that's that kind of shape. And now I'm going to form the base part. So again, this is going to be a loop. So looping it around, using the middle part of your needle nose pliers. It's my middle part. So that it touches and it forms below. Make sure it's nice and straight. It's very good. So um, let's have a look. I think that could touch a bit more. Wiggle it forward and back till it stops exactly where you want it, forward and back. Push it up so it touches the metal. Okay, so now how does that work? Well, 
it hooks inside like so. Hmm, maybe I could hook it the other way around. That way, and then it would attach on the chain or cord um, on the same side. So that's how I made those, and uh, I invite you to have a go at trying those yourself. Thanks for listening, and hopefully I'll see you in the studio. Bye for now.